Good morning students. I am Vetri Chervi from Vetri and Vetri Need Chemistry. Today I am going to give the video to the general organic chemistry all previous AIMS question. General organic chemistry we are expecting three questions are there. Now let us see the first question. It is the IUPIC name of one structure is given. Let us see the structure. The structure is here for our teaching I am giving one benzene ring. Okay. With the OCH3, OCH3 and here it is Cl and here it is NO2. The condition is, what is the rule is, all are having the substituent. When substituent are you are using, you have to number it in such a manner according to the alphabet order. Now let me write the name of each substituent. This one we can call it as a methoxy. Here Cl is the chloro. This is the nitro. According to the alphabet order, chlorine has to come first. So, I have to numbering. If I am starting with here 1 min, the number low, lowest local rule, we cannot get it. So, select the direction in which the lowest number should come for Cl. So, I am taking the numbering. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the least number of 2 is coming the possible. Now start to write the IU pack is according to the alphabet order. Chlorine occupies position number 2. So 2 chloro. Now we are having option these 2 only available with the 2 chloro. Let us proceed. 2 chloro, 1 methoxy. Here there is 1 methoxy. 4 nitro benzene. So this is the answer. Now here what is the rule is all are substituent based on the substituent alphabetical order you select the numbering go in the same direction. So this is the correct way of answering. Okay now this is important question AIMS 2018. Okay now let us go to the next one. Question is Four different types of your acids are available. Okay, write the correct decreasing order of acid strength. First, in such a question, you have the three GOC question mean definitely one will be based on IUPAC or sigma bonds. Second, maybe this type will be there. Another one will be based on isomerism. That's all. Now, this type is decreasing order of acid strength. So, whenever any decreasing, increasing mean first your approach is don't see anything. You first put this one. Decreasing order mean this you first first. So, this is the more acid, this is less acid. Okay. Now, let us see the acid strength with the minus I effect plus I effect. Now, it is a simply benzoic acid. Benzoic acid with Cl. What is Cl is the minus I effect. Okay, now here it is the, your methoxy group is having the, what is it call it as a, electron we can give it as a electron releasing group. <coughs> here there is no effect at all, I can call it as a zero effect is on your <coughs> benzoic acid. Now this acid or all are three to be focused. Now this is in the case, what is here it is the nitrophenol, para nitrophenol point number one. Phenol itself comparatively less acidic. <coughs> so this is, first I am finding out, this is the less acidic, put it at the loss. So what is that? Roman number 1 is you put it as a loss. <coughs> and go and find out the option which is having Roman number 1 is this is the loss. You can see here. In this one, you are having this is the least one. So, any other option is having mean not having. So, this is the answer I am identifying. I am going on verify. So, next one is, what is this one is telling? Follow this one. Roman number 4, here. <coughs> what is there? Here is, is the electron withdrawing group. Now, the next rule is, as is 10th is directly proportional to the minus I effect. So, because of minus I effect, it is more acidic. So, now write here, Roman number 4. Now, coming to this is one is the 0 effect, whereas here is the opposite. We can give it as a electron releasing. So, Roman number 3 and the followed by the Roman number 2 and this is the decreasing order. 
so now this is my developed answer compare with this is so now like that easily you can approach without confusing so three acid one is the phenol and this what is that you first you need not go anything <coughs> first write this this drawing is very important decreasing in such a manner this is broader this is narrowed down and then identify this is the least put it roman number then find out the option even in the aims question you are having only one possibility is given so very simple to identify then approach with your logic and approach with your chemistry knowledge now let us go to the next question children now arrange the following nucleophiles in the decreasing order of the nucleophilicity aims 2017 decreasing order of already i told decreasing order mean this is this one you have to write this is the decreasing order of nucleophilicity what is the meaning of nucleophilicity mean nucleophile i can take it as a nucleophilicity mean we can call it as a proton lover nucleophile so this attraction of proton okay now what is the con now this is you keep it in your mind that is attract proton is called nucleophile you keep it like this okay now here the four things are available you with the constant knowledge find out everything with the minus charge what i can this one segregate as a two heading one is i am giving as a first one this is ch3coo minus and here you put in ch3cooh and what is this and i can call it as a acid minus hydrogen so now this is labeling as a conjugate base now this one i am giving as a acid the next one this is where a now let us go to the b ch3o minus ch3oh then next one cn minus hcn next one is your what is this group yes here it is the what is it we can simply write this one yes benzene ring this is your benzene ring with uh, this is sulfonic acid children nothing but a sulfonic acid with a methyl group okay now here is corresponding means now let me write properly yes this is yes this is your yes corresponding your acid okay now what is this is a b c d okay now what they are asking come to the knowledge what is the knowledge is acid versus conjugate bases vice versa that is conjugate base now i can say as them weak acid here i wrote the weak acid so is conjugate base is strong so stronger conjugate base having the weak acid okay what is weak acid is the proton donor what we want is proton acceptors okay now let me write them decreasing order of now i am writing the decreasing order of as strength so among this who is the strongest acid is this is i am writing here d is stronger than next one is you can keep it as a, this one you keep it as a loss it is the alcohol already i told in the previous case the remaining three is our acids here is the strongest first one next a is the next acid next c and then i am writing as b this is acrosing decreasing order of as strength what they are asking is the decreasing order of nucleophilicity what is the nucleophilicity proton acceptors okay before going to the let me write here as strength here what is the minimum as strength here it is a minimum as strength or you can have a strong acid strong acid mean conjugate definition is proton donor so he, this is good in proton donating but now what is this here it is good in proton accepting so what we want is decreasing order of proton accepting so who is the best of proton acceptor is reverse this order let me write here b c a d so now this is your thing i want so what is your b c a d now the answer is here okay children again i am coming this is aims 2017 seven aims questions are having its own standard so little bit it is having good standard question 
how we have to approach again i am teaching you separate it a conjugate base with the acid so first you have to create this tablation and what they are asking is the decreasing order of nucleophilicity what is the nucleophilicity is proton acceptor or is called as a nucleophile so who is the best proton acceptor is the weak acid is the best proton acceptor so among this who is the weak is we are added this simply we can say it is a methyl alcohol it is not at all a acid so like that also you can find it because b is the only option this is having like that with the logic manner also you can approach this sum okay now let us go to the next and the last equation is which of the following is an electrophile so <coughs> is an electrophile point number 1 what is the electrophile is we can call it as a e plus <coughs> electrophile okay usually nucleophile mean species with the negative charge species with the positive charge is electrophile or we can call it as a electrophilic philic means is attraction attract so electron attract okay so who is having electron attraction mean which is having electron deficient who is having lack of deficient electron deficient is the good nuclear electrophile identified now let us see here the first one it is given as the ccl structure i will give here it is the chlorine the carbon four valency two is occupied on the carbon two lone pairs are available now totally how many electrons are available two two plus two so totally <coughs> in this species you are having six electron so it is deficient with the octet rule of eight electron so this is, is the electrophile already i told electrophile mean electron attraction when it will attract which who will attract who is having deficient will attract so since it is to fulfill the octet electron deficient so it is the electrophile you are identifying we will eliminate the remaining point what is here it is ch3 here this one hydrogen 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 and the species is is with the minus charge that is carbonyl so here you put it now 1 2 3 plus 4 so 4 into 2 8 electrons are available now let us see the structure of water water structure is this is okay on the oxygen you are having two lone pairs so 1 2 4 electron and here it is 4 so you are having 8 electron let us see your ammonia ammonia structure is that three bonded electron with one lone pair so totally have 1 2 3 4 so eight electrons are available all are having eight electron except this so it is the electron deficient or we can call it as a electrophile thank you children